Well, welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm Adam. Today, I'm going to be messing around with a Dell R630. Not this one, but I have another one running at my rack at the data center, and I have Proxmox installed on it. So I'm going to show you guys how to install a VM on Proxmox, and I'm going to be using Ubuntu server and installing a Unify controller on the Ubuntu server, because here soon, I'm going to be removing my Unify Dream Machine Pro as my router and my rack at the data center, and I'm going to be doing a custom custom open sense router. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be making a future video about my open sense router and my rack. So I'm going to be installing that on my Dell R630 that I already have in the rack. This one here, I'm fixing to put it in there very soon and I'm going to try to mess around with setting up a Proxmox cluster. So that's another future video I plan on making how to configure a Proxmox cluster. So if one of these goes down or gets corrupt, the others will take over. So I'll switch over to my computer and I'll show you guys how to install that VM and get Ubuntu server installed on it and get the Unify controller installed on it. I got logged into my uh, server at the data center. I'm logged in with my WireGuard client here in the bottom right. And my subnet there at the data center is 10.4.4. whatever. And in this case, it's .8. And then you have to add the colon 8006 to get into Proxmox. You log in with root and then whatever password you made when you installed Proxmox. And then I named mine Adam, but you could have named yours whatever. And then to upload an ISO so you can actually use it to uh, make a VM, you have to click on Adam and then you have to go down here to local. But before I do that, I'll show you what I have on the server. I have 96 uh, total CPU cores available and then I have 251 gigabytes of RAM available to me. And then I just have a little small SSD installed, but I do have other SSDs installed on the system. But for an Ubuntu server, you don't need that much space, especially just to run a uh, Unify controller on Ubuntu server. But to upload your ISO, you click on local atom and then you click on ISOs and then you click on upload. So to download Ubuntu server, I just Google searched Ubuntu server and it brought me to their website. And the newest version of it is 24.04, but the Unify controller, if you do that, you'll have to do a bunch of workarounds. So the easiest option that you can do is to download a older version of Ubuntu server. So you click on alternative downloads and then you go down to Ubuntu server 22.04. And that's the newest one that'll support running the Unify controller without you having to do a bunch of workarounds. Uh, now this link here is a torrent download so you'll have to download a program like Qubit Torrent in order to open it up and get the ISO image. And I'll show you here in a second how to upload the ISO image to Proxmox. So in order to upload it you just go to where I said earlier local underneath your whatever you named yours. So you click on upload select file and then you go to wherever you downloaded that file. In my case it was download new folder and there's my Ubuntu server ISO. Hit open and then you hit upload and it'll upload it onto Proxmox. So we'll just wait for this to get done here. And after it gets done uploading, you'll get this. You just hit X on it. And now we have Ubuntu server. And just for the fun of it, I went ahead and uploaded a Proxmox ISO. I don't think uh, I would recommend running Proxmox instead of Proxmox, but it was kind of funny to put in there. So in order to start a VM though, um, you can click on wherever, but you just click on create VM up here on the top right. Uh, you can assign it to your node. I only have one node. You can give it a VLAN ID of whatever you want. Name, I'm gonna name this Ubuntu server. I'll name it my my Ubuntu server so it can't have spaces. Click on OS and then your ISO image. We're gonna click on the Ubuntu server. Leave system at default. Disk, I'm just gonna leave it at 32 gigs. And then I have two sockets and then cores. Uh, I got a bunch of cores. I got 90 cores, so we'll go ahead and give it 20 cores. Memory, I have a bunch of RAM. So I'm just gonna hold this and probably give it, I don't know, 16 or 32. All right, we'll give it 16. Network, we'll just leave it on the virtual bridge. And then you just hit finish. And then now here on the left, you see your server. And then what I always do is I go to console, I click on start now, and we'll wait for it to start and run through its process here. So I like to make it full screen. And then you just use your arrow keys. Once you click on it, try to install Ubuntu server, go through the steps here. And then you just log in with the username you made. In my case, it was Adam. Then you type in the password you made. and now you're in Ubuntu server and I'm gonna have linked down below all the commands and order that you have to enter in to install um, Unify controller I'll try to walk through some of them but I'm no means an expert and it looks like it's just finishing up installing some packages I selected during the install so it's perfectly fine to sit here and let it do its thing if 
this happens to you. Now, if you want to copy and paste and follow everything down in the description, it's very hard to paste in the Proxmox cell. So I would recommend installing SSH and just SSHing into your server. So in order to see the IP that this got, you just type in IPA and this will list all your interfaces and let you know what IP you got. So you just look at your interface here. And in my case, it got 10.4.4.226. So you open up your SSH client. You can either download SSH or you can just use PowerShell. I'm gonna use PowerShell. So you hit start and then search for PowerShell. And then you type in SSH. And you type in the IP of your server, the right IP. And then you type in the password that you made when you installed Ubuntu server. And now you're in, now you can copy and paste. Cause trying to copy and paste in here, it doesn't really let you. So if you SSH into it, you can copy and paste. Now the easiest option and the one with the least amount of workarounds is to run the Unify controller in a Docker container on Ubuntu server. So it's only two commands, which is really easy. This first one here, curl, it installs Docker if you don't already have it installed when you did Ubuntu server. But if you selected it like me, you'll get this message here that says, hey, this could cause problems if you try to install it again. I just ended up hitting control C and canceling this because Docker was already installed. And then you do your sudo docker run D and you do that command and that'll run everything for the unified controller. And then I typed in IPA so I could figure out what my IP address was again, which is 10.4.4.226. And then I did this other command here to sudo docker ps to see if it was actually running. And in order to get to it, you just open up another tab. You do HTTPS colon slash slash, the IP address of your Ubuntu server. Make sure you have the IP right, because if not, um, it doesn't work. <laughs> And if you don't know the IP, just type in IPA and you can find it on that list like how I did. And then you do colon 8443, hit enter. And there you go, there's your Unify controller running. And from here, you just name your server. You agree, you hit next, 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 and you set it up and you can adopt your Unify devices. So all in all, it's pretty easy to install the Unify controller on a Ubuntu server, VM, and Proxmox, especially if you use Docker. Uh, if you don't use Docker on the Ubuntu server, it's a pain in the butt. You have to do a bunch of workarounds but if you use docker and follow those commands in the description it should be pretty easy but if you have any problems uh leave me a comment and maybe i can try to help you and if you didn't do it and you just liked the video go ahead and leave a comment let me know you liked it let me know if you didn't like it i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed i'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button at a thousand subscribers i'm gonna be doing a giveaway of a network tester that trend networks is gonna send me and i'll be making a video about that in the future so if you don't want to miss out on on that go ahead and subscribe down below but thanks for watching i hope you guys liked the video and i'll see you guys on the next one